Hey chill ladies, my name is Jack Septiguy and welcome back to Hidden Agenda. We're coming up towards, I think we actually might be coming towards a conclusion in this game. I'm not sure, um, we should be exactly where we left off, hopefully, maybe, I don't know. It's kind of hard connected this game sometimes. We're going to find out who the killer is. It looks like Adam Jones may have actually worked. Yeah, 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 we got this. Wow. Far as I can tell, it seems to be after he supposedly died in that fire. That's... That's huge, so he's real. There's more. Apparently Someone so. On my tail. What? So we're going to the house now. Yeah, but they bolted the second I made him. She said 22 Morgan Wait, or something, nothing. right? It's not exactly the nicest part of town. Maybe. I'll see you at the house. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We're heading to the house. Nice. So this is, this is now new. We haven't seen this yet. So you gave me three hours with him, 20 hours before he dies? I mean, I guess it does take time to get that stuff cleared. Do me a favor and just make sure he doesn't try anything. Oh, he can certainly try. <laughs> oh, Becky. Don't get any ideas. It's good to see you again. How are your bracelets? Well, I can't feel my fingers, if that's what you're asking. Very nice. You gonna help me out or what? he pulled last time, I'ma tighten this bastard's cuffs. How's that? So kind of you. So is this where Adam came after the orphanage? This is where Adam grew up. <coughs> oh shit. Condemned property. Cursed property. Cursed image. Clear. Couple squatter nests, but looks like they split. All right, give us five. I think you need more Start than five. Tour, boss. Right this way. Keep those cuffs on him this time. This room right in here. This is where Adam slept when he ran away. Nobody's been here for years, Finn. Well, I didn't say he'd be here to greet us. Okay, I have to find clues. Uh, can the thing move? Okay, tent. Papers? Ah, oh, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. This thing is hyper laggy. Oh, sweet Jesus. And a box. Fuck! This thing is insanely slow. So you're saying that this is, this is his, not some squatters? Squatters wouldn't dare. Why? It's a free bed. Good old Detective Jorky. <laughs> huh. Detective Marnie, Sarge says it's time to wrap it up. Already, I thought I had him for uh, three yeah. hours. We just need a couple minutes here. How did Adam end up at the orphanage? Well, Adam's pop would get so blasted he couldn't see a hole in a ladder. Beat his wife senseless if she gave him one crooked look. One night, she loaded up his double lot, took his head clean off, right in front of Adam. Whoa! Trapper's first target, he beat his wife too. The Undertaker. Another drunk. Judge put her away for life. No parole, no visits from her kid. Guess it don't matter that if she hadn't picked up that shotgun, Pops would have killed them both sooner or later anyway. That's our justice system for you, right? Yeah. Murder is murder. Judge's verdict was harsh. I do think it was a little harsh. It... I don't know the ins and outs of what actually happened, but it seemed like it was in self-defense, or... at least somewhat. No good outcomes in a case like that. Yeah. I'm surprised you couldn't see your kid, though. That's hard. Yeah, that, that I'm very surprised no. about. You're kidding. Think I'd kid about the man who sentenced me to die? 
couple of weeks in, Mama Jones hung herself in her cell. Oh, jeez. Christ. So, yeah, Adam was shipped off to Las Palmas. Out of the frying pan into the fire, huh? You wouldn't believe what they did to us in there, Raminsky and that piece of shit orderly. And, you know, we tried to fight him the way you're supposed to fight him. We called the cops, third precinct, and nobody did a goddamn thing. Not even our own social worker. So once Adam got out of that hellhole, he figured out his own way to make them all pay. Oh. Those cops, he knew their beat. He timed every murder to the minute. He knew exactly who'd get the call and exactly what was waiting for him. Damn. Cops failed, parents failed, system failed. What would you do? We took out the people who hurt us. Jeez, man. That's rough. Not for me to decide. Yeah, exactly. I'd make them pay. That's... Ooh, that's thinking like, like our boy Adam. It's not for me to decide. That's what a jury's for. Yeah, so I hear. Who gave him the right? You know, I used to think maybe Adam's the only one who can see the world for what it truly is. See past all the bullshit. The evil deeds that lie in the hearts of men. What about the women? But now I know only God has that gift. Thanks for hearing me out. After all this time, it's nice to tell my side of it. Sure. Call any time. There is something else. Yeah? The hostage. When you picked me up. Daniela Cardenas. Well, Daniela and her sister Izzy were with us at Las Palmas. Oh. We went through the same shit. Izzy never got over it. OD'd a couple of years later. Adam knew that Daniela would do anything to see Raminsky pay. Okay. Son of a bitch. My God. The hostage was in on it. So I saved the this hostage and got my partner uh, killed for that. We're gonna need an APB on a new suspect, Daniela Cardenas. I repeat, we need an immediate APB. Cardenas was not a hostage in the Trapper case. She was a co-conspirator. Fuck! Should have saved my partner. I'm gonna call Simon Hillary. If Daniela's sister passed through the morgue, he might be able to take up the case. You're gonna be all right. I'll be fine. I can handle myself with this piece of shit. What's up? Yeah. Go. Me and my girl Becky ain't nothing getting to us. Hey. <coughs> uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, I don't like the way he's looking. You still think I'm making all this up? Less and less. But without proof that Adam's still running around. I can get you proof. No, you can't. You're right. Not like this, I can't. <laughs> You're nuts. Look, he's never gonna show his face while I'm on a leash. But on my own, I can draw him out. Serve him right up on a silver platter. Even if you're right, Judge Vanstone wouldn't go for it in a million years. What if I were a wire? Then you could keep tabs on me. No. But it could work. No, you're on death row. Did you forget that? For crimes I didn't commit. Did you forget that? Oh shit. Look, there's uh, something I may have neglected to mention. Oh, please, enlighten me. Adam told me that if I were to ever find myself free of incarceration, he'd reach out immediately. Is that so? You can make it look like I overpowered you. No one would have to know. You guys look like you're made of plastic. Okay, I, I'm cur I'm just curious to see where this is all gonna go. Obviously, there's more to this than just this guy being the killer, because otherwise it would just- the ending would fall flat on its face. So I, I want to figure out who this Adam dude is. I want to see where this goes. I cannot believe you're actually proposing this. Yes, you can, because you know it's the only way to catch him. Look at me. I could take you out in a second. Police would buy it. We can make it look real. Prisoner 75422 is requested to be returned to custody immediately. This is Officer 732, receiver request. Please stand by for confirmation. Hmm. How would you find him? Let, let's go with the plan. How would you even find him? I got strings I can pull. How do you catch a rat him. with He's some cheese? Do it. Do it. Do 
I swear, if he gets away and he was a big bad killer dude all all along, I'm gonna be so mad. Becky, hey, time to wrap it up. Becky. We need help up here! Now! Nice one, Becky. The Oscar's yours in a couple years. Alright, my little cheese ball. See, it's a I'm catching a rat with cheese because he leaves rat traps. The trapper has escaped from prison just days before he was to face the final curtain for his crimes. Jonathan Finn was responsible for the deaths of numerous first responders during a reign of fear five years ago. Officials warn that Finn is dangerous and any sighting should Rain be immediately of fear. reported That's to a good name for an album. Sounds like it would be fucking metal as fuck, dude. Yeah. All right, I want to know what happened. I want to know now. So, so, sorry, Chief. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been in there alone with him. He overpowered me. I blew it. This I'm just a frail mess, little woman. We are gonna stay focused, <laughs> and we are gonna get this son of a bitch back in custody. Carl, what's the status? U.S. Marshals are initiating the manhunt as we speak. Okay, get out there and help them. Anything they need. <sighs> Becky, until we catch a break, I'm gonna need you work in the case files. Sir, I think I could be a lot more effective out in the field. Becky, get back to the files. Finish the job. <sighs> So. What are you looking at, Carol? What the hell's going on with your partner? Something's way off here. Doesn't add up. You think she's hiding something? I don't know. Let's keep an eye on her, alright? Damn it, Carl! He's on to me! Ah, oh, that's cool, eh? Counts down like it was going to count down from his execution, but then it counts down till his escape. That's nice. Ah, I get to do the other things. Um, who was the next? The next one was the orderly. I'm gonna leave the priest for last because I just want to do them in the order that I found out about them. LeMay, orderly at Las Palmas. In and out of the third precinct lockup for years, but known for his uncanny ability to avoid doing any real time. Seems likely that he knew people on the inside. If the third precinct cops were the trapper's targets, well, he connects both worlds. His brother, Vernon LeMay, works in sanitation downtown. I'm gonna pay him a visit. Mm. His brother, LeMay. <laughs> uh, it's, per it's just May, okay? You're not French. Two hours. What's up, LeMay May? It's gonna be LeMay. <laughs> like to have a little chat. Down the ground. <laughs> Footbill. Well, he can barely walk, so oh Jesus. This is way laggier than it was earlier. Oh no, I'm gonna fail everything. Go, oh, Becky! We love you, Becky! You're a strong lady! How are the dude can barely run? How's he getting away? Go back. Thanks, orchestra! Oh, fuck. Mr. LeMay, listen to me. You don't want to do anything stupid, okay? I don't got to do anything. No, I just want to talk to you. What the hell you want to talk about? Put the gun down. I just want to talk. Keep, keep calming. That, that seems to be working. 
Las Palmas Orphanage, I need your help. The sooner you cooperate, the sooner this little misunderstanding will be over. Just stay back. Vernon, calm down now. You're not going to shoot someone. Okay? I'm going to drop my weapon. Okay, look, okay. look, 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 look. I'm just going to drop my weapon. Okay? See? I only want to talk to you. God damn it. Here we go. Nice. Now drop kick him off the building. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say. Yeah, I can and will be used against me. Yeah, story of my life, lady. Yeah. Let's go. Where did you draw a weapon on a police officer? Also, pick up the guns. They're gonna be they're expensive. Sergeant gave them to you, he'll be mad. Ooh, my biography updated. Ain't looking too good right now, Vernon. I guess low-life numbskull just runs in the family, huh? What? Quit dicking me around. This is about your brother. Hmm. Okay. Tell me about Finn or you knew Adam? Uh, I'm gonna go with the Adam one. Adam Jones. Ah. What can you tell me? Bro mentioned him once or twice. Said no matter how much he wailed on him, the kid would just look back at him with these big old dead eyes. Just taking it. Bro could do whatever he wanted, no matter how much the bastards complained. Cops weren't gonna touch their golden goose. Why is that? You know what? I think my mouth just got tired. <laughs> That's a good line. I think it's time for my lawyer. I know my rights. Hmm. Elaborate. I'm gonna spell it out. He supplied. For everyone. Yeah, you're gonna send me up the river. You better make a hell of a lot of extra room. Why is that? Because I'm taking half the police department with me. No! This piece of shit out of here. Uh, it, it sucks towards one of them and I thought I could pull my thumb back across to the other one, but as soon as it's in the box, your decision is made. Damn it. Look how pretty that is. Smoke in the background. What's up, Carol? Is this scumbag telling the truth? About his brother? About the cops. The whole third precinct was dirtier than a truck stop toilet. The, uh, whole precinct? Yeah, I kept my nose clean, but it wasn't easy. Sergeant Teller was my boss, for Christ's sake. We have to tell someone about this. No reason to dig up the dead just to drag him through the mud. You're not wrong. But it doesn't feel right. Sometimes you gotta break a few eggs, Carl. <laughs> oh, she, she got the badass one-liner before she left. That's our girl, Beck! Oh, I love her. She's badass! She needs, she needs her own show. She needs her own cop show. Can we turn this into a cop show? I would, I would, I would watch that. I would, I would pay for that. Five hours since he left, Jesus Christ. Okay, so this is where Calvary, Cavalry, Calgary, Calvary was killed. Because I remarked that it looked like the Until Dawn place. 8.23 p.m. Revisiting the crime scene of Detective Jack Calvary's His name murder. was Jack. We shared a name. Gonna have a closer look at the bedroom first. Not that big of a place, but I always have to wonder if the forensic team missed. I always like wanted to be one of those people that went around, like. Oh, I don't have a time limit on this one. With a little like dictaphone going, yeah, I had a bagel. It was good. Uh, what else am I looking for? You're making it sound like I'm running out of time, but I'm not. Forensics confirmed that the bullets were fired from Calvary's gun. There was no time on the bottom! Hey. Now what is that? So they were just that dumb they didn't see it the first time. 
gotcha. That's quite a fucking phone you have. Who that? That's a lady. Oh, it's the hooker. Never mind. <gasps> was she paid? She was paid off. No. Damn, she was okay, strong. Well, this is you went. Huh. Okay, now who's this? Hoodie man! That's the guy who was chasing oh me, God. or I chased him. That's, that's from the widows. <laughs> wow. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but thank God Calvary was one perverted piece of shit. <laughs> this is huge. Thanks. <laughs> My face! Where did it go? Oh, it's still there, thank Contact. God. Felicity Graves. Calling Felicity Graves. Hey, Felicity? Hi, Becky, what's up? Can you meet up? Quick. I want to go over some evidence. Yeah, of course. Uh, Temple Bar? Great. That's a place in Dublin! Oh no, there's been another one. That's the hooker again. Right? Okay, that's the end of part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on. Oh, I'm fucking ready. I think this is the last section. What if Felicity is part of it all? They, that hooker had the same haircut as her. Same like little Bob. Ooh, interesting. What if Adam Jones has been hiding under our nose all along? This is fun. Felicity persuaded Judge Vanstone to release Finn into police custody. Finn took Becky to the house where Adam Jones was raised. Becky disturbed a hidden camera at the crime scene, and the camera contained secret footage of Calvary's murder. Becky talked Vernon down after he pulled a gun on her. Vernon revealed his brother's links to corrupt cops. The Undertaker's widow said husband regularly used prostitutes. Becky had a good look at the figure following her. Damn, he ain't got no ass. I see, I call this like a season. Becky aided Finn's escape so he could find Adam. Finn told Becky that his hostage was working with him during his arrest. I'm trying to be like the guy from the cops show. You know the one that was like, This guy taught that this would be an easy way out. But the police had other plans. And it's like the top-down view of the police chasing him. <laughs> okay, moving now, on! Part three <laughs> of Hidden Agenda. I'm excited! It's like me <coughs> It's like being able to play a TV show and you're all here to witness it with me. <coughs> ah, water down the wrong pipe. Okay, it's only been six hours now. <coughs> Excuse me. Same haircut. The guy on that video? In the hoodie? Same guy I chased earlier. You sure? Pretty sure. Alright, so... This hooker. She's working with the trapper. Why? She lures them and kills them and he sets up the trap? Hmm... Maybe? I don't know. All I know is... <laughs> Seems crazy, but... Yeah. Maybe. 
Thanks. When Calvary was investigating the Trapper five years ago, he had one big blind spot. Prostitutes. The first target, the Undertaker. Met with a hooker the night he was killed. And now Calvary is killed by a hooker. At least someone dressed like one. Maybe the Trapper is using a hooker to lure his targets to a premeditated murder site. I just... I don't even know what to think anymore. I feel like everyone's out to get me. Don't worry, Detective. You're safe with me. See, maybe it's just because now I suspect her. Even though the only thing I have to go on is that the hooker had a bob haircut. And the person in that cutscene who looked like the hooker again had a bob haircut. But, I mean, lots of people have those. Um... That's an um, uh, optimistic moment of self-relaxation and comfort. Why not? I'll cheers to that. Maybe Finn's right. And Adam Jones is the one behind all this. But if he really is the one doing all this, where is he now? You know what? It's pretty late. Ah, <sighs> yeah. My advice? Sleep on it. Take all this to Sergeant in the morning. All right. See ya. You took one sip of your beers. Hello? I found Adam Jones. Finn? Who? Where are you? I'm outside his house. I told you I'd find him. I'm outside his house right now. Wait, where? Where is? In town? Yeah. Uh, have you talked to him? I followed him home. He didn't see me. Some woman left his place a little while ago. Now he's just in there by himself. What's the address? 1712 Alameda Road. Sick. Let's go, Beck. <sighs> there was something in my drink. Oh, fuck. Okay. Maybe it wasn't Felicity. Maybe it was somebody else, okay? Maybe I'm jumping on my girl Felicity's tits way too quickly. Gotta, gotta trust my gal pal. We had Cosmos. And now I'm dead. Hey, Lana. Check your email now. What email? Oh. Whoever did this makes a compelling argument Marnie killed Calvary. Well, more than just Calvary. Play the audio. Marnie? Cannot believe the mouth on this Marnie chick. We gotta be careful, or she'll blow this whole operation. What'd she say? Threatened me. Us. All of us. She's out of control. Someone's been holding on to that for years. Did you recognize the voices? No. Should I? It's been confirmed. They're two of the officers killed by the trapper. Look, Marnie's been weird, and yeah, she had motive. And? She didn't have opportunity. How do you know? She was with me the night that Calvary died. Ah. Uh, I mean, if she didn't, oh, wait, that's have a trick. Becky's second name. Becky Marnie, right? I can't remember. I've just been calling her my gal pal one, number one Beck all this time. Beck, my bud. But now she's all drugged. Now she's going to be at the house. Oh, we found her. You're a hard one to track down, Daniela. You're in a lot of trouble, young lady. Suck my nuts. <laughs> nice! Finn's come clean. We know you weren't a real hostage back in 2012. Look, I get it. You and your sister... Went through hell, the cops did nothing. They failed you. And you wanted to make them pay. Adam Jones, right? He offered you a way to get back at them all. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do, and it's a felony. But help us <laughs> out. Maybe we'll let bygones be bygones. Sure. He's the one who set it up. He told me what he did to the fuckers who hurt me and Izzy. But I have no clue where he is now. 
You haven't seen him at all since the arrest. I saw him once. He didn't recognize me. He looked all different, but I recognized him. You can always tell from his creep-ass eyes. <laughs> Even all cleaned up. Cleaned up how? I don't know. He's like a cop doctor or something. Detective Carter, I need to speak with you. We're right in the middle of I something. I fucking here. knew it! Now. Don't go anywhere. The Simon guy! I said he had creepy eyes! I said he was weird! There's been an abduction. Judge Vanstone. Witness says it was Becky Marnie who took him. No, no, no. Not our girl, Beck. Our girl, Beck, she's in a hard time. She got the roofies, man! I- I fucking called it! Right from the first time I saw that guy, he looked weird! He was acting weird! Now he's a cop doctor! A copter! But he'll get no hello from me! Judge Vanso? Oh, I hear the beeps. The beeps mean the bombs. I don't like that. I don't want to be a baby boomer. What the? Oh, shit. Judge Vanso? He has oh, a phone in fuck. him! Is that in you? Who else would know how to do all this but a cop doctor? What did she put inside me, goddammit? Um. She? What? what who? Who's she? Was a, a woman. A goddamn whore. What has she done? Uh, she's made you into a Christmas present. Hello? How's your head? Carl, is that you? Oh, I shit. You. They know you did it. They know you killed everyone. There's no escape. You're the trapper, Becky. No, I'm not. Why are you doing this? Tell me why. Haven't you fucked with me enough? Oh, please take tomorrow, man. You're so vain. I don't give a goddamn about you. Sorry. You might just come out of this alive, if that's any consolation. But you need to listen very carefully. If you will notice, there is a small heartbeat tracker on Judge Vanstone's wrist. It is synchronized to a cell phone that I have surgically implanted into his stomach. If his heartbeat goes above five miles an hour, he'll sucker. die. But every beat of his heart knocks another second off. The faster his heart races, the quicker the clock. Now would you care oh. to guess what happens when the numbers reach zero? Game over. For anyone in, say, a uh, hundred foot radius, give or take. Which will most likely include all the police who are swarming in to arrest you right now. Why are you doing this? What's your end game? Well, it's certainly not be analyzed by a two bit cop. Sometimes killing is the only option. What? I can't promise you I'm not gonna pop that balloon a bit early. And there's enough explosives in there to level the whole floor. Jesus. Sweet Jesus. I left your fire on for a reason. Stop his heart. Stop the timer. You can't be serious. Oh, you can be God. You, you can be alive or you can be dead. That's your choice. And the clock's ticking. Uh, I don't know what to do. So what did he say? Are you gonna get me out of this?
We're staying. What did he say? Could you get me out of this, please? I don't know what to do. Becky, you're a smart girl. You're a resilient girl. You're a resourceful girl. Uh, that's not what I meant. I'm really sorry about this. Shit. Shit. No. No. Uh. No. No. I choose not to shoot. Fuck. I can't. Fuck, it's I so can't. much. I can't. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I calm can't. down. Calm him down. Okay, you have two minutes. Figure it out. I need you. Slow breaths. Very, very calm. What? Do you understand? Why? Tell him why! What's happening? Oh, oh God. Tell him. Why in God's Shh. name? Please, 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 just stay. Stay calm, stay calm. I, 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 I... Oh, shit. If the timer reaches zero, then we're both dead. How much time? Ah, balls! And we can figure this out. So, if you take this phone out of me, it can't hurt me, right? You gotta get it out of me! Fuck it, we're going in. Dr. Beck! <laughs> ah, no, please! Ah, I can't take it! Ah, Would you rather ah, explode? Ah, Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Yeah. Yes. Did we do it? Please tell me you just passed out. Call Felicity. Felicity, she knows more about me. Becky, where are you? We need to talk. I'm being set up. I was drugged. I woke up at the Elliott Hotel. Judge Van Stone, he was rigged up by the trapper. Wow. Becky, just stay put, okay? Don't leave the building, just stay right there. That sounded like it was right next to me. Didn't sound like it was over the phone. Whew! Defuse that situation. Lord knows if it was attached to my heart, we would have exploded a billion times by now, because my heart was... Are these guys just gonna gun me down anyway? That's weird. together. But if you're in there, you need to step outside so we can take you down to the station. Yeah, be compliant. You're gonna get shot otherwise. Shit. Becky? The phone has okay. gone through her hand. Okay. <laughs> Hi, you've reached Felicity Graves. Please leave a detailed message. If you're a client and this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. <coughs> hey. 
It's me, yeah. Um, I was just calling. I was just calling to say that. Shut up. I'm sorry, Felicity. I'm sorry. Bye. What are you doing, Beck? No, just, just do this, do this. This one I think will work better for us. Scott! He's on the ground! Now! Okay. Just get to a safe space and then you can tell your story and we'll be fine. Stay down! Stay down! Okay. Okay. <gasps> nice. Okay. Now just explain your story. They might not believe you, but... Surely somebody can find evidence somewhere. Where's Finn? Get him to get Adam Jones to come out. It's the fucking doctor guy anyway. So what do we do? What happens next? Not much we can do. What are you talking about? Becky was close. She was... She was gonna figure it out. Becky was with me the night of Calvary's death. All night. So if she didn't kill him, that means the trapper is still out there. The evidence... It all pointed to Becky. Your word's not enough. But she's innocent. I mean, don't you guys stand up for each other? Don't you guys have a code? What? There's only one shade of blue? Yeah. Right. That's just a line they fed us at the academy. <sighs> Fucking Carl! Felicity about her feud with Calvary, and later Felicity met her at the bar to discuss the case. Becky aided Finn's escape so he could find Adam. Finn tracked Adam to his new address. Finn told Becky that his hostage was working with him during his arrest. The police questioned her and learned that Adam had become a police doctor. Becky had a drink at the bar. She woke up in a hotel room alongside Judge Vanstone's trapped body. Is- am I done? Don't you fucking dare! Earlier today, Judge William Vanstone was kidnapped from his home on the east side of the city. He has since been rescued and is back with his family recovering. Detective Becky Marney surrendered to police custody shortly afterwards. She has vocally denied any wrongdoing, but is considered a suspect in both the Vanstone case and the gruesome murder of Detective Jack Calvary. We've heard an unconfirmed report that Detective Becky Marney may have aided in the escape of convicted serial killer Jonathan Finn. Oh, Jonathan yeah, Finn that does not look good. Jonathan is still at large and is considered armed and dangerous. An investigation is ongoing. Sergeant Riggs made a brief statement to the press only moments ago. Do not tell me that that's the end of my story. If I'd known this could happen, I would have tried harder. I wasn't surrendering to- confirm confirm that Becky Marnie has been placed under arrest. That's all I can say at this time. Thank you. I'm no jury. I don't have the right to convict, but... Did Detective Marnie have motive? Yeah. Did I trust her? Ah, oh, come on! Trust I have to go back and try that. So what you're saying is that money helped you? I'm just telling you what happened. Do you think it's possible she suffered from some form of multiple personality disorder? You think she was crazy? Playing both sides at once? In this town, anything's possible. Oh, fuck you! 
You saw I the hooker. I told you everything I know. Why don't you leave me alone? I didn't want any of this to happen. None of it's gonna bring my sister back. Do you understand? Thanks, Daniela. Uh, yeah, well, Marnie covered her tracks like a pro. She was it's on him. the force, so she uh, knew exactly how we would think. Exactly! That's how you know! In my, uh, expert opinion, I suspect we'll never know the extent of uh, Marnie's deception. Very intelligent, manipulative, willing to take anyone down to get her way, especially those who trusted her. But hey, at least she can't hurt anyone else. Yeah, I... Motherfucker. I don't know, I just... It just doesn't make sense. I thought she was onto something. I don't think she's behind this. Thank you, Felicity, my number one confidant. I trusted her. Oh, my phone's at low battery. No! I have to try again! Because I thought it would be- I thought it would keep going. I didn't know it was just going to end there. Otherwise, I would have fled. I need, I need to go back and try again. I need to go back and do some things differently. And try and get a better ending out of that. Oh! There's more! He's buying all his rat traps. You must have had some heck of a rat problem. There he is! Motherfucker, the cop doctor, Simon. Oh, don't you worry, Simon. I'll get you. So, to get a better ending out of this, I have to start a new game. If I go to continue, it just goes straight to the credits. So I have no- I have no chance of going back and playing a scene before. And I don't think there's an option to go to different, like, sections of the game. Oh man, that fucking sucks. That means I have to play like two hours of stuff just to get to where I need to. And I can't skip any of the dialogue. Okay, well I'm gonna leave this episode here because I've been here for a while and I just want to let this one sit. That's- that's the ending I got. That's- all, all the stuff that I was doing, it seemed- looking up the stuff of what was going on, it seems like I did absolutely everything well, except for in the last, like, 15 minutes. That apparently there's a way you can go to Simon's house and figure out that he's the trapper there and arrest him. But, like, maybe if I fled or something, it's just- it's so sucky. That- that one mess up that I did, because everything else was fine, you're supposed to get Daniela to confess that he's the- the doctor, you're supposed to gain Finn's trust to find out where his house is, you're supposed to do all these different things, all the things I did led to the right place, except for the very very last moment, and it absolutely sucks that I can't go back to a save point and just try again from there. Because even Until Dawn, because when I finished Until Dawn the first time, I got a pretty crappy ending as well. I think I saved like two or three people. But to save all the rest of them, I could just go back and finish different scenes. And finish the scenes where some of the characters died and then I could save them and then at the end I could just go back to that. So I could pick out the parts I wanted, get to the end, and then I got the good ending. Which I'm pretty sure I did in a video as well. I think I went back and got the good ending because I didn't like how that ended. But this you have to play the entire game again. Just to get back to where you were to try and do it. And if I mess up again, that's it. You're done and I have to do it all again. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm, in, I'm so conflicted right now because I want to do that. I want to go back and I want to try it. But if I mess it up again, then I probably won't want to go back and try it again. I leave it up to you guys. Let me know if you want to see me go back and try get a better ending. If if I do go back to try it, it probably won't be a very long video because a lot of this I'll have to skip by and do the same kinds of things. I'll try and figure out the best way forward to do it and make sure that when I do it, I do it right. Um, but if you want to see me do that, then please let me know and I will do another video on it. But if you are fine with it just being the way it is, with this ending, 
Let me know in that regard as well. I'd love to know what you think. Um, for now, that was Hidden Agenda. For what it was, really good. I liked it a lot. I like everything that was going on. It was just that little part at the ending and not being able to go back and fix it or whatever was a little shitty. Especially since I knew who the guy was after she said he's a cop doctor. Like, at the end it revealed like, oh, it's Simon buying rat traps. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I knew. I had known for like 20 minutes at that point. Ah, just a shame. Um, overall, like the idea behind the game, I, it reminds me a lot of Heavy Rain. Um, I played Heavy Rain ages and ages and ages ago when it came out. Um, never played it on the channel, but the fact that I know who the killer is in Heavy Rain kind of ruins all of that, so I didn't really see a reason to play it again. Um, but the whole, like, cop detective trying to find out who the killer is kind of thing reminded me of that, and... I don't know, I, I like super massive games. I like the, the stuff that they make. I liked Until Dawn, I like this, I would like to have seen more of this. Maybe, maybe get rid of the phone controls. I don't know, I like the idea you were going for, especially if you have friends around to play it and you can all like, yell at each other, be like, No, you gotta pick this one! And some people pick one box and everybody else picks the other box kind of thing. I don't know, I don't know how it works. Um... Or is it like the first person to like flick on a, a decision? Is that the one that gets picked? Do you have to talk it out and then somebody gets to decide on what gets picked or whatever? I don't know. It's a neat idea to do it in that aspect, but I feel like maybe you could have done it on the controller. Just have like six players, but have like different buttons do different things so people could be like, Okay, well I'm, I'm circle, so everybody who's on circle like press this button to pick that decision kind of thing. I don't know. I just feel like the phone part of it was a bit gimmicky and it led to a lot of lag and a lot of problems with me trying to find clues sometimes. Neat idea. Maybe just go a bit further with it. Maybe have stuff that's on the phone be a bit more prevalent. Because some of the stuff that was on the phone was like, oh my case files I can read, but I mean, I don't really care about that. Like have some stuff come up in the phone only. Something. I don't know. You, you, there, there's potential there, and I'd like to see them explore that a bit more. Um, but just for the game itself, it was like playing a two hour movie, and I really liked that. It was like interacting with a movie all together. Really, really cool idea. Maybe, maybe I'll stream it again, and we can try and get a better ending. That might be a, a fun idea, and we can see what decisions people pick out of it that way. Um, now that I've done it already, I don't need- I'm not really surprised by anything, so there's nothing that will really be spoiled anymore. We know- we know who the guy is, it's just a case of figuring out the ways of getting to him, so to speak. Um, but yeah, really cool. I would love to- I would watch a whole movie or TV show about this. I feel like I have watched movies and TV shows about this. It's not a- a unique concept. It's basically just... Saw. <laughs> That's all it is. Um, but I, I do, I really like these types of games. And it, it is just kind of, every now and then you interact with a movie, basically, but, I don't know. I feel like there's a place for them in the games market. Um, I, I hope they make something else, though. I hope they make more like Until Dawn, like an actual walk around the I'm in control of the game kind of game again. I don't know, I didn't even know that they made this until I was just- I, I can't even remember where I was. I can't remember how I found this. Somebody just mentioned it somewhere. I was like, oh, they made another game? I didn't know that. Uh, anyway, I've rambled enough, but again, let me know in the comments what you guys thought and what you think I should do next. We, we'll see what happens, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And... Hi, boys, all right. Thank you, guys. Now we'll see all you dudes. I know it's going to bother some people as well that I got the bad ending, but I mean, what what was I going to do?